In this video we are playing Find the Tom and Jerry. So Detective Jerry is a group join and you can go ahead if you want to, we won't be, um, but that is how you get that one. In this video I will be showing you all the other 126 locations. If you do get stuck with any of the characters I do have an order list in my video description or alternatively drop me a comment I will always try and help you the best I can. And if I can ask if you do enjoy this video or any other from Judgment TV, if you can hit that like and subscribe to help support my channel. So this game is just bringing back so many nostalgic memories for me. Um, I used to watch Tom and Jerry as a child with my brother. Um, so I'm absolutely loving kind of reliving those memories and seeing the characters that I recognise from those days. I so want to start watching it again, I'm going to have to try and find it. So we're making our way kind of around the neighbourhood area. I have tried to order the video by location. Um, a couple of these characters do need uh, speciality items in order to collect them. So what I'll be showing you is where the characters are and then I'll show you the items in their relevant location. Again, the items will be included in the video description so you will be able to find out which area they are in. And as if I didn't feel nostalgic enough, take a look at that vintage style game console on the floor. Like that reminds me as a kid playing on the N64 with the cartridges that you had to load. Oh my God, <laughs> proper vintage. If the person who's built this game my age or something. <laughs> Memories. And we have Spike, the dog next door. <laughs> Tom always used to get in trouble with Spike. And I mean, there is room for an update with this game. So there isn't a beach. Um, and I do remember an episode where Tom and Jerry go to the beach and Tom's trying to impress I can't remember what her name is, I know she's in here, the, the white cat with the big purple bow, um, his girlfriend, and he's trying to impress her with like a picnic and all this stuff at the beach, and Jerry's just causing all this mischief and ruining it for Tom. <laughs> it's a great episode, but there are opportunities to obviously include those characters from that seaside episode. And another one of the episodes that I absolutely love in Tom and Jerry is where Jerry goes off to, I don't know, Vegas or New Orleans or somewhere like that, the big city basically. And he has this really kind of sweet, wonderful moment where he's dancing on a table and the little uh, salt and pepper shakers kind of in, in figurines of little ladies. And he dances with one and then he spins her away and then he brings another one in. I absolutely love it. I haven't seen that for years. There's also the one where Tom sends in, um, he's trying to get Jerry, and I just remember a scene where he has like a little wind up uh, toy, and she says, come up and see me sometime, and he ends up swallowing it, and then every time Tom hiccups, it says, come up and see me sometime. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love Tom and Jerry. I'm gonna have to find these episodes from somewhere. But this game has a load of great features. The only thing that really lets it down for me is kind of the quality of the characters. Some of them are super pixelated, um, so it really does kind of lose that polished, finished look for me. Um, when you compare it to kind of Jerry that we've already collected versus them, you'll see them when they come up and they're really pixelated. It does just let it down. Um, so maybe just clean up the images of some of the characters. 
but I love the map, uh, I love the item collections, it's just been a really enjoyable game. See that's one of the pixelated ones that I'm talking about, you can't really see Big Bertha and it's just such a shame. So here is one of the location entrances to the sewers. So with regards to the teleport, you can only teleport around the kind of main map that we're in now. It won't take you to the castle, the sewers, the racetrack, the snow mountain. You do have to use those entrances, but I will show and label them in my video description for you. So we have found the purple key. This is the key to the door in the sewers. There are six different coloured keys that you need to collect in order to open it. These will all be listed in my video description, the same as uh, you will need a similar set of snowballs. Again, they will all be uh, listed in my video description as well. Here we have one of the speciality items. I'm really sorry, I found some of the speciality items before I went to the characters that they relate to. Um, if you are looking at characters and they need a speciality item, uh, it will come up across the top of the screen that so-and-so will need this item in order to collect them. So you'll just need to marry up which item I found in my video to which character. And you know what would have been a really funny character would have been the legs of the owner of Tom. Because <laughs> that's all you ever saw of her was her legs. Um, I think way back when it was a lady in high heels and then it changed to a lady in slippers I think and like socks. Um, so that would have been a really really funny element to add. <laughs> and oh my god the lion! Oh, it's such a shame he's pixelated that if you haven't seen that episode, that is another absolutely great episode you need to watch. 
it's where the lion escapes from like the circus or the zoo or something and he's hiding in the basement and like Tom's got a massive ham and then the lion sneaks out from behind the curtain and eats the ham <laughs> and Tom's there in like his little desert outfit with his rifle trying to get the lion oh it's absolutely brilliant and the lion and Jerry gang up on Tom I can't tell you how many wonderful nostalgic memories in my childhood this is bringing back. So this is the hotel area of the map. As I said, you can tele teleport around these main areas of the map. You just can't teleport to the speciality locations. I will show you at the end of the video. I don't think I'd want to stay in that hotel or motel, whatever it is. They don't have doors on the rooms, like I don't think I'd feel very safe going to sleep without a door on my room, <laughs> let alone leaving my stuff in there. Unless of course they've been burgled and they've stolen all the doors. <laughs> I think that is like a very basic version of a family joined room now. Yeah, we'll just smash a hole in the wall between the two rooms. <laughs> Yeah, it's just such a shame how many of these are pixelated. Here is the entrance to the snow mountain. As I said, I will go into those speciality locations at the end of the video. They will all be in the video description. This is just my gameplay. Of course, you can go straight away. You can play however you like. So I didn't do very well on the trampoline sometimes, so I did have to find my own way of the buildings. So this is the devil dog, um, so you will need the bone before you can collect him. This is how it comes up when you need a speciality item in order to collect a character. So obviously I've gone and got the bone and then it will then allow you to go and collect them.
So this is the gas station on the map. I say gas station, <laughs> whatever that is, they've got one pump, it looks a bit derelict. <laughs> I don't know if the derelict theme is what they were going for. Um, I don't know. It just feels a bit like a like a bit of a run down town. <laughs> I mean, I certainly wouldn't want, want to wash my hands in there with like green sludge coming out of the tap. <laughs> See, I just can't remember if Tom and Jerry was setting that kind of like run down town scenery kind of thing. I don't think it was. For me, it would work better if it was like a bright, vibrant, bustling town. So you could have had like diner and neon and just made it really fresh and clean. Here is the bone for de a devil dog. I almost said daredevil. So this area that we are in now is the complex on the map. I don't know, I just maybe if the kind of area here was maybe a different different style for different buildings, everything just has table and chairs bar a couple. <laughs> Maybe make some shops, I don't know, just to keep it a bit interesting. You can get clothes, I think, um, other, other stuff, just to make this area a bit more interesting because it's just a lot of table and chairs. This was the one area of the map that kind of got a bit repetitive just because it was all so similar. We have found our next key, which is the orange one. And there is a free double jump, which is very useful in this game. This is Tom Toodles, that's the name, Toodles Galore. That is the girlfriend at the beach that he's trying to impress. No, I couldn't remember her name. She also lives next door in the neighbourhood um, and he tries to like, win her over against another Tomcat. Um, I'm just remembering all these episodes, I love it. So pixelated, it's just such a shame. A room full of coffee tables, nothing else. <laughs> I know where I can sit my, is it a coffee table shop? I didn't think of that, it could be a shop full of coffee tables. That's where everyone else has got their coffee tables from in the complex. <laughs> And there's some great little opportunities just to hide some of these characters just out the way just out of the eye like that's why i was checking behind the chairs because i just automatically assume now and we have another market full of coffee tables <laughs> oh and there's more coffee tables but there is another recliner upstairs and no doors no doors again
Oh, but we have a little bit of an office. But in order to collect Cuckoo and Jerry, you do need the birdcage. Once you have collected it, you can go back and then collect the character. We've got Fox looking like he's practicing a presentation because there's no one there with him. And we have the worst truck driver ever who's just rammed the truck into the side of a building. If I remember rightly, I think that's the other Tomcat who was trying to get Toodles' his affection um, away from Tom. I'm pretty certain that was the one Butch Cat. It is going back years since I've watched Tom and Jerry. We've got another fabulous truck driver who's gone into the wall. It's almost like the same driver has tried to drive the truck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll fix it, and then it's just made it worse. <laughs> and very rarely did Tom ever manage to catch Jerry, and he never ever got away with his plans. See, I just don't know if I'm a fan of the derelict look on this. It doesn't go with Tom and Jerry. Again, attention to detail. Put something on the shelves. It looks, it's just empty. <laughs> Put a few products on there. But I do like the size, it's almost like you are jerry sized in the supermarket, which I really do like. <gasps> Imagine if you could morph into Tom and Jerry, oh that would be ace. We will quickly just do the attic. We have a very nice crown. I said I don't know what character that matches to, I'm so sorry, but that is where you get the crown. Again, I don't even know what they are like, it's so blurred. There was a little issue, I did leave the game and come back, and my character ended up being like half me, half noob. Um, I don't quite know what was going on there. Little glitch.
oh no, I remember Droopy Dog. He had like a really distinctive voice. I'm not going to try and put it on, don't worry, I don't think I could do it justice. <laughs> No idea who that character is. I'm literally sat here for some of these going, nope, can't remember them. This is one of these snowballs that I was talking about. So this opens up the igloo in the snow mountain or the snow world. Moving into the construction site on the map now. remember Muscle's mouth it was like he was wearing like a top that was way too big for him and he used to like push his chest out and tip his hat and go and sort out Tom on behalf of Jerry <laughs> If you do like Tom and Jerry, this will definitely be a game for you. As I said, a little bit let down by the pixelated pictures, but it's still been an amazing game. I have literally really enjoyed it. Although I may not like the kind of derelict look or theme of the map, it is really well built, there is some attention to detail, they have done great work on this game and the development, I do hope they continue to update it, there is opportunity to get some characters if you are an avid Tom and Jerry fan. So for a couple of these you will need to go outside the boundary wall and when I mean outside it is outside. And we're going into the first of our speciality locations now so we are going into the sewers and this, oh, fabulous, I absolutely love it. What find the game isn't complete without a maze. And this one is like a massive maze of sewer tunnels. I loved it. <laughs> I spent a good long time down here trying to find everything. And what makes it worse, it's not just on one level, it's on like three of them, just to make it super more fun for people who love mazes. <laughs> It is a very well built maze. I did get turned around quite a few times and ended up in the same place that I would already been. And we have the cheese speciality item for someone, I have no idea.
So that's kind of like, I'm just going to check everywhere on the same level. I'm not going to drop down. I'm not going to go up. <laughs> it's getting too confusing for me. We found the money. I'm so glad the developer didn't do this, but obviously you could troll people, drop them down into an area with no trust, so they have to teleport and run back out. <laughs> bit like wrong way lol <laughs> oh, I'd be mean if I built a game So here is the door, so the door will show you what keys you have, um, in the items you will also find which items you've currently got and which ones you don't, um, and it's nice because they don't disappear when you leave the game, so once you've collected them that's it, you've got them. This is a really nice touch because quite frankly sometimes I can't complete a game in one sitting, um, so it's really nice that those kind of remain in your items ready to use when you're ready. So we have all of the keys now, again check the video descriptions, I have put them in there and we have got King Thing. So the next speciality uh, location we are going to is the pirate ship and this can be found on the, well the entrance to the pirate ship can be found on the roof in the complex. such a shame they're pixelated, it just really takes the edge off some of these characters. Just showing they're pixelated.
This is a beautiful pirate ship. It's probably one of the best pirate ships I've been on, I think. an opportunity to perhaps make those bars a little bit smaller to get people to go in and kind of turn to get in there and have a character locked up in the brig. There are little areas that you could kind of up the challenge element so you could have a key for the treasure chest and the treasure chest then opens. I know it's obviously scripting to get the movement factor um, but it really does just give that heightened element to these games. And we have found the blue key. I wonder if that's all filled with rum down there. So this is after the, we have found the paper which is in the castle. And there was an absolutely cracking kind of opportunity for a mini game inside this game where you had to hit the kraken with the cannons. If you've played like Find the Simpsons, um, you'll understand what I mean about kind of the mini games in a game. So the entrance to the castle kind of speciality location is in the construction. into the basement level We have found the sword for someone, don't know, so sorry. <laughs> Here is the treasure map for the pirates on the pirate boat. Again, just a bit repetitive on the detailing inside the castle. Uh, again, there's a real opportunity to put like different furniture and whatnot, just to kind of polish it and, and really give that finished look to the game. And then making our way around the outside of the castle, we can find Captain.
back into the kind of, I don't know, restaurant to go to the um, Snow Mountain doorway. Here is the igloo with the snowballs that I was talking about. So once you have all six, you're able to open the door. And if the sewers wasn't bad enough, this is also like a bit of a mini maze. It wasn't too bad. It was all white. <laughs> all white. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. I'm so sorry. That's like such a dad joke. <laughs> This was such a random little area to have like a throne room with no walls and no characters in there. Like I would have popped one in there. There are various trampolines and ladders and bits dotted around to help you access these characters. As I said, this is just my gameplay. You can collect these any way you want to. It's really weird with a lot of these characters if you've ever seen the film inside out it's like some of these memories of these characters have kind of gone into the long-term memory dump and i can't recall them i swear i remember them but i just don't remember it in the episode and i can't recall them <laughs> but they look so familiar
So that finishes off the snow mountain and we're just making our way to the last speciality area which is the racetrack and just by the construction zone there's like a car place with the wheels on it where we found strong mouse um, you just need to go to the cactus And we have the bird cage. Apologies, I did already go through this area, uh, but I lost the video, so hence why I'm just going back while they're already all collected. And there we have it. It's been an absolute blast going down memory lane and seeing the characters from cartoons I used to watch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.